good morning it is that's angel walking in and she's into bed <laughs> angel is deaf actually and not that makes any difference but she seems to walk around in like little stilettos all day because it's clip 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 and then she's all these funny little scratching things but anyway <laughs> I've already digressed. So welcome to day seven of Vlogmas. So it's a coffee with the dogs this morning. I hear comes Scrappy. Lola is already in position. Well, oh, she's going to hate this now. Hate it. It's a possibility she'll move. She likes to sit up on the couch with me on her own. Oh, she's very uncomfortable. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> I think he jumps up just to annoy her. So, um, yeah, good morning to day seven. Coffee with the dogs for a change. Isn't that right, Scrappy and Lola? I did that, yeah. Um, so I've got a little bit of makeup on this morning because um, because I actually thought I just looked better <laughs> in yesterday's videos. Uh, so I'm not a great makeup wearer, to be honest. So I was really hoping that the tinted foundation was going to work out. Um, but I've tested the tinted foundation on my hand this morning and there's definitely a big difference between the tinted foundation, the Donald Trump look, and this. So, scrap it, calm down, chillax boy. Yeah, okay. So I'm definitely going to have to look for like a tinted moisturiser in a lighter colour and keep the other one for the summer when I have a bit of a tan. Um, so yeah, I've, do you know what? I don't really like wearing makeup. It's not that I don't like the faff of putting it on. It just really starts to irritate my eyes later in the day. Um, so, yeah, if I was going out of the door every day to go to work, I would put on makeup. I was never very good at that anyway. Like, this takes five minutes. <laughs> there's no contouring. <laughs> there's no, yeah, yeah, there's nothing under, yeah. I've actually been really lucky to have, you know, pretty okay skin. I never had the spots and things. Um, you know, apart from the stress spot that comes in the middle of the nose or the middle of the cheek or the middle of the chin, you know, those ones. Um, so, yeah, this is slapped on, slapped on five minutes. Um, so, yeah, I just thought it looked actually less wrecked in yesterday's video. And uh, thank you for all the comments already this morning. Uh, I'm at that video nearly broke my heart to edit last night. I don't know whether it was my bad internet or just something that I'm doing wrong or the wind or what, but I eventually gave up last night and just went to sleep. And then this morning it had actually saved and uploaded to YouTube. So yeah, yesterday was a very boring day. I'm sorry to you all. <laughs> And you've already told me not to be apologising for the, the, the boring day, but yeah, it's reality. Like, why? I'm surprised she's still there. And I swear, if I moved to the other couch, he'd move over there beside me as well. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's it. So today is another work day. We've got electricity, so that's good. The wind was horrendous when I woke up this morning, when it was dark. Um, but it's actually not too bad. I'm kind of thinking it's the bit of calm before the storm. So we'll have to see what happens. But I feel very accomplished this morning because I already have my DPD parcels ready. A few more to pack now. So I may as well, you know, get a few more in before the driver comes today. And I've got my UPS ready. So I have all that worky worky done. All the dogs are fed and happy and the cats are fed and happy. I can't believe I have five pets. Five, like... Um, Karis doesn't start her lectures until half past ten this morning, so um, I always bring her in a cup of tea in the morning. She's very lucky. So I'm in our living room. Uh, this used to be our dining room. <laughs> I think every room in this house has had a new, um, apart from the kitchen, the kitchen is still where the kitchen is. So that's the kitchen out there. And in my last house, which was teeny weeny, we had a kitchen and like dining room all in one and we had a, a separate living room. and. I used to hate just having, you know, all the dishes in the sink and then eating dinner. And I had this great idea about, you know, have a separate dining room and it'll be lovely and yada, yada, yada. Um, and it was for ages until um, work took over the house and I had to expand from one room into another. So we ended up moving all our living room stuff into this room. So. <laughs> the dining table that used to be in here is now my cutting out table. So we actually have no dining room table, but we have a big island in the kitchen. So that's where we eat. Um, it's not ideal. And you know what? I'm actually thinking, where are we going to eat Christmas dinner? I don't really want to eat it around the dining room table. I, no, I don't really want to eat it around the island in the kitchen. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to, yeah, we'll have to make a few plans about that. 
so yeah anyway this is our living room we had to move all our furniture from the big living room into a much smaller living room and this is a really nice room it's got two big bay windows uh, may as well i'll show you around as i talk there's a big bay window there with the television in it that's honest to god it's never put on we watch casualty and i watch the sewing bee and that's it <laughs> nothing else well yeah nothing i'm not really a telly person and then this is the front window and then we have uh, we have a door that goes out to the kitchen we've recently moved that chair out of here into the kitchen kind of works and then we have a door here that goes out into the hole so originally we used to keep this door closed a lot and we used to come in through that door but now seeing as this is the living room that door is always open and it's a really nice door um i got a new hinge put on it a couple of years ago so that it goes right flat against the wall so that works really nicely and yeah we have a fireplace and a stove i love when that stove is lit it's gorgeous um so we moved a chair out of there and we've made a space here for the tree i'm here trying to do my weather girl thing again <laughs> this is where the tree is going to go we're kind of hoping and we've got a space left there so that we can come in that door so we'll be able to close that door someday and just yeah come in this door that's a bag i did for a pattern test ages ago and it's still hanging there on the door from when i took photos of it <laughs> but we were in b and q recently and i just fancy painting this room a color and i found this wallpaper so I got a sample from B&Q. I love that you can just tear off samples. Now, I always have a scissors in my handbag, so it's really handy. So we have this sample, and I really fancy that. I think it would be really nice around the fireplace. Now, there's not an awful lot of wall anyway, and I have a notion to paint the room. Now, don't all scream. <laughs> paint the room a dark navy colour. Is that a bit mad? But this has been this colour, which is kind of uh, a very greyish. Would you call it greyish? You know, it's okay. But myself and Karis were sitting here one evening and we were thinking, we were both thinking, but not saying that we'd love the room to be a colour. Now I have to admit, I hate the curtains. I had really wacky curtains up here for years. And then Scrappy went through a phase of peeing on the end of the curtain. And I washed the curtain and it shrank. So I had three perfect curtains and one shrunken curtain. So I made new curtains. And I really liked these when I got them. And I have them made about, maybe, it's not three years, but yeah, I don't like them at all. So I think they'll be coming down and they'll be charity shopped. But um, yeah, we're, we have this goldy coloured couch and I thought a navy colour would be mad. Is that a bit mental? <laughs> because I have my bedroom painted in a very dark grey and I love it. And it actually, funnily enough, makes the room look brighter. And that's a room that's right above this room. So we don't get an awful lot of sun in this room. But it's amazing how the dark grey makes my bedroom look brighter. So one reason that I want to paint this room is because I have accumulated an awful amount of clutter in it. And I think the only way to clear the clutter out is to paint it. <laughs> As in just, yeah, decrap the room, paint it, and then it'll be like a new room. But I really fancy that wallpaper. The ceiling needs a paint. So I'm feeling that I will paint the ceiling. Like I don't like painting, but I will paint the ceiling and I will wallpaper the chimney breast. And I'll see, will that give the room enough sort of, you know, new zhuzh? And now I've been watching Rowan's Vlogmas and I'm loving her kitchen. And I think I'm going to paint the kitchen pink. Now, I said that to Keris a couple of days ago. We were just eating dinner and I said to her, Keris, I really fancy painting this kitchen pink. And she goes, where has that come out of? <laughs> I said, Ruan's kitchen is lovely. It's a really pale pink and it's so pretty and I would love it. So there's a lovely pinky colour in that wallpaper and I think it would bring great like continuation from 
the kitchen. I think it would be really nice. And I think it's the pink that's in that wallpaper that I want in the kitchen. Now the kitchen color is a bluey color, which is actually a really nice color as well. Um, so it's this bluey color, which is really nice too. And I like it, but I really like that pink on Ruan's kitchen. <laughs> so, you know, when you get to that stage where you just think, oh, the whole house needs to repaint, needs to read this, re needs to read that. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, that's, um, that's my, that's my notion at the moment. And Jason, if you're watching this, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I talk about the painting and then Jason ends up doing it. <laughs> I am actually going to drink some of this coffee. I watched my yesterday's video in front of the cats and I didn't drink the coffee at all. It's very dark looking coffee this morning and that is because I generally <laughs> I generally freeze some milk so I go into Aldi. I don't like food shopping at all. Um, I do love an old root in Aldi but the thing about going into Aldi is that there's a good chance of going in for like dog food and milk, which are always the two top priorities on my shopping list. Now I have to add cat food to it, but Aldi don't do a cat food for kittens. Not that I found. And yeah, we go in for dog food and milk and we come out like with a chainsaw or something random. So I generally buy too much milk. I put some in the fridge and some in the freezer. And now I've got very dark coffee. So like uh, we went to Aldi last week myself and Karis, Karis drove in and I said to her, no, we don't need a trolley because we only need a few things. We brought a shopping bag and we came out then with three armfuls of stuff. We ended up with a tree skirt, which is lovely. It's a wicker tree skirt. It's going to be really nice under the tree. And we also ended up with more Christmas lights for the tree. We ended up with an advent calendar, which it's really cool. It's little, little timber boxes that you pull out and it was half price. So that's in the attic for next year. Hopefully I'll remember it. Hopefully I can find it. Um, we also got, this is like trying to remember all the things on the conveyor belt of the generation game. Do you remember that? <laughs> I used to love that. <laughs> cuddly toy. <laughs> no cuddly toy was got from Aldi. But um, yeah, so I'm hoping we might actually get the decorations out of the attic at some stage today and we might start the tree this evening. Now, if the, I said to Karis yesterday, if the electricity goes today, we'll be good because we have loads to do we can get the tree down and get all the decorations down we can start putting up the tree in here it'll be really nice yes i know scrappy i know the two of them are still sitting here this is very unusual yeah you're right there lola yeah okay <laughs> god love her um anyway i'm not going to stay here waffling i'm going to drink the coffee and I'm going to go and start some work and I will check in with you all a little bit later. So another thing I picked up recently and I thought it was an Aldi but it wasn't. I think it was in one of the pound shops was this. Um, so I have great notion of making a wicker, not wicker, a you know a, a wreath for the front door. I do have a really nice one from TK Maxx that I take out every year um, but yeah I've been watching some YouTube videos on how to do one of these and I think it might work. And I have this great notion that I will get some hedging from my grandmother's garden. And we have some lovely trees um, down at my mother and father's house. So I think I'm gonna take a trip down the village one of the days, but well, not today, because it's really windy. Um, although I do have to go to see the postman later. So maybe, maybe later today. Um, but now my granny's house has been sold since last year and i don't know who has bought it but she's got a very overgrown hedge at the front of the house and i just thought it would be really nice to get some of the hedging from um, her garden and use some of it it's a privet hedging now i think even when i noticed it the other day it might have gone to seed and i've never seen that happening but maybe it's just big weeds i don't know i'll have a look and um, so i'm hoping that i'll be able to catch the people there they're doing work on it at the minute and just ask them can i take it it's because you know only polite and I got some of this wire so now it looks really easy on YouTube when I see all the professionals doing it and there's some really good like tutorials on how to do it and um, so I'm going to give that a go and um, so yeah that's gonna be I'll have to bring the secateurs in the car one of the days and a big basket 
because I don't want to dirty the boot of the car at the moment. I'm very precious about the car at the minute because I only have it a couple of weeks, but um, that will probably soon change. I do miss the big boot from my last car because honestly, like it was a much, it was a bigger car and I was higher up in it. And I am getting used to kind of sitting on the road now, which feels kind of weird, but I'm getting used to it. And I've now got my seat and the steering wheel into that, you know, perfect spot. <laughs> it's taken three weeks to get like really comfortable in this car. Now the other car, you could basically fit an Ikea kitchen into the back of it, maybe not quite. But I had no worries about, you know, going to Ikea and getting into that scenario that you see people in trying to, you know, get a load of stuff into the back of a Mini. Um, so, yeah, I'll have to be far more careful now going to Ikea. I think it'll be deliveries from Ikea now. Like, I'm definitely not going to get, like, say, the, the six foot unit into the back of this car. Definitely not. Um, but I was amazed when I used to be able to get into the other one. I put the seats down. Oh my God, you could ram it with stuff. It was great. So, <laughs> right, back to work. So I'm randomly scrolling through Instagram stories as I do my computer stuff, as I do. And I just found out that B&Q in Ireland are now doing deliveries. They've got an online store now. This is just new. It was only like um, a catalogue before. You couldn't actually buy anything on it. And my wallpaper comes from B&Q. <laughs> so the beauty about going onto the B&Q website at the moment is, and I'm reading it off the screen, there's 10% off everything online for one week only. Offer ends 9th of December. So I have my two rolls of wallpaper, two will be loads. Um, one wouldn't be enough. Two will be too much, but I'm sure I'll find something to do with it. And I've also popped in two sets of under cabinet lights for the kitchen because the last day we were in B&Q, we got one set, uh, tested them out, perfect. And we figure that we need another two sets. So I've got them in the basket and with the 10% off, I'm getting free delivery. It says it'll take up to seven days. That's fine. <laughs> I won't be using them within the next seven days and there's no way I'm going to be in a B&Q for the next seven days. So yeah, so handy. Bish bash bosh. And they'll just arrive to me. So that's great. Hmm. So I bought Mindy this collar and I felt a bit nervous putting it on her um, because I was afraid in case she might get strangled somewhere with it. So they love playing with it as a toy now, anyway, so. Hi, Wanda. Hello. This little girl wasn't very friendly when we first got her. She was very, very timid, but now she's the first one to jump up. <laughs> and then Mindy gets jealous. Don't you, Mindy? Who gets jealous? Oh, it's so funny. They always, like, drink together. Shlap, shlap, shlap. <laughs> so we've got all my post in the car and I've got about an hour now before I have to go to the post box and I'm just looking at an awful lot of rain today so our storm seems to be mostly rain. I'm sure the wind will pick up at some stage but it just seems to be constant rain. So for the hour I am going to measure out and weigh remnants from for the website. I have a big pile of them ready to go on and I'm going to have a little curly whirly. I just went out to the kitchen to look for something. Not fruit. <laughs> Chocolate. And I found a curly whirly. So that made my life so, so happy. So I'm going to put my phone on time lapse and video my um, sorting out of the remnants. So when I was doing my little behind the scenes ones before, I was just like doing a video of them. They might have been about 12 minutes long. And then I had to put them into my Mac, <laughs> my airdrop took ages, and then speed them up. But I heard Judy, I think it was, saying, oh, I'm going to put you on time lapse. And I thought, oh, I'm sure I've seen that on my phone. So time lapse just videos you in like fast forward. So it's great. And that shoots into the Mac then for the editing. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So it's going to look like I'm doing rounds like really, really super fast. <laughs> So I'm going to eat this and then do them.
it's pajamas time the day is over um, i have finished up i've closed the door dpd have been and gone and once dpd are gone then it's pajamas time so i'm sitting here scruffy's beside me of course and um i have the fire lit we have a little stove in this room so um yeah if you listen to my long <laughs> my long chat about the underfloor heating there a couple of days ago it did go on even jason said to me god you made a big, big long story out of that on <laughs> that heating <laughs> but um the heating the underfloor heating doesn't actually work in this room there's a leak and i won't go on about it so we um we put in a little stove so it's our only source of heating in this room and without it this room actually gets quite cold so the um yeah the stove actually gets so hot sometimes that you know you nearly have to open a window but yeah i'm sitting here stove is on it's really nice i'm going to do a bit of knitting i've picked up knitting lately um i have just finished this so <laughs> i think i started this like at the beginning of the year and i had to leave it down because it was irritating my shoulder to knit but i picked it up recently i have all the pieces knit in it and i want to ask my friend tess about blocking it before i sew it together so i'm not actually no i'm not sure if i even like it now that it's done i've made the longer version um and i'm, I'm not quite sure but anyway yeah we'll see it's taken like a year to knit you know <laughs> there was a big break in the middle and now i have moved on to my next project before i've even sewn that up and this is out of the same wool now, I really like this, I really like this. I was tempted to knit this one first at the beginning of the year, but it had actually been so long since I was knitting, I thought, right, I'll do a simple one first. Um, so I started into this one. I really love this type of like, you know, Scandi knitting, but most of them that I see are knit on circular needles. And I just haven't got the knack of circular needles. So, this one doesn't have circular needles, which is great, but I'm not knitting it in the grey because, for simple reason, I bought this wool and pattern and in the sales in January and they didn't have the grey. So I'm actually knitting it in black and I think where the cream is at the top, that's going to be grey and I still have the other two colours. Now I'm a bit concerned because the orange that's in it is the same as the orange I used for this. So I did get an extra ball, but I seem to have well gone into the ball on this one. So I don't even know if I'm going to have enough. So I think what I'm going to do is knit this first and then worry about sewing this up after simply because I know I'm going to really like this. And if I have to, I will rip some of that orange one for the orange. But it's knit on six millimeter needles, so it's it's fairly fast to knit. So I'm going to sit here with my dog and do a bit of knitting this evening. I've already got my next knitting project, <laughs> and now it's a simple one. Um, this was one of the I'm going into Aldi for uh, milk and dog food, and I picked this up. So it's a little, it's a ball of wool and a pom pom, and look at the colours, it's just gorgeous. It was only like four euro and it's just a knit a hat. The instructions are inside. And the funny thing was that I actually picked it up when I was going around through um, the aisle of bits and bobs. And I thought, I know, you, you know what? You're never going to get around to knitting that. You've got enough knitting projects. So I put it down. I was so restrained. And then as I was going around, somebody else obviously had the same idea. <laughs> only they had picked it up, put it into their basket and then probably thought, nah, and put it down randomly somewhere. So I took that as a sign. So I put it into the basket <laughs> and I bought it. I just couldn't resist it because the colors are just so pretty. So I was meant to have that. So I am going to get on with my knitting. I'm not hungry yet. So I'm going to wait a little while until I feel hungry. Keris is absolutely wrecked. We were going to do some sewing together this evening and no, we're just too tired. As you can see, we've still got electricity We've still got internet, so all is good. I've turned on the lights outside, the icicle lights, so there's a bit of Christmas about the house. So they look really pretty outside. There's Lola on the other couch. And um, yeah, I'm gonna settle in here now and do a little bit of knitting. And I will catch up with you all tomorrow.
Bye for now.